Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a really simple sewing video where I'm going to be making some easy sew DIY little pouches. If you are new to sewing, then this is a fun little beginner's project and you can use up your scrap fabrics to make these little pouches as well. So let's get straight into it and see how I made these little pouches. For today's DIY, you are going to need some scrap bits of fabric and you're also going to need your scissors, some thread, you're going to need some twine or string for the tie parts and then your trusty sewing machine. So I started with a strip of fabric and I just ironed it to take out any creases. I then folded the right sides together and I folded down a piece to make a tunnel and I ironed that flat. Then you're gonna take it to the sewing machine and you're gonna put a stitch on either side. You can see how I done this in the next clip. sewing don't forget to do a reverse stitch at the start and finish of your stitching especially if you're a newbie it can be easy to forget to do the reverse stitch but this is really important as it stops your sewing from unraveling once I was finished sewing I ironed my seams out flat Sometimes when you're new, you can forget to iron out your seams, but this gives your piece a really polished finish and it makes it hold its shape better as well. So iron out your seams. I'm now just sewing my tunnels closed. So I'm gonna do a straight stitch down, leaving obviously a gap on the inside because this is where you're gonna put your piece of string in to make your tie. Also, don't forget to do a reverse stitch at the beginning and end of your stitching to keep it nice and secure and in place. I'm now just going to turn it right side out and I'm going to trim off any excess pieces of threads or whiskers as I like to call them. You can really poke out the corners to get a nice sharp point on them. And now we're going to get ready and we're going to pop our thread through our little bag. I'm using a safety pin to attach my cord to the safety pin. I'm then gonna push the safety pin through the tunnel and this is gonna bring my string through the tunnel. I hope this makes sense and you'll see by how I'm pulling it through in the video. Once you have pulled it all the way through, you're gonna bring it around the other side and you're then gonna secure it with a knot. And you're then gonna do the whole thing again, but just on the opposite side and you're gonna secure that with a knot as well. Both sides are threaded through, you can trim off any excess and then you can give it a test and pull it and see how the bag assembles and then to loosen it you just gently pull it and loosen it back out. my little pouches. The best thing about this is you can adjust the size of the fabric to suit the size of bag that you want. So just extend it or make it wider depending on how big you want your bag. And if you have like 
tiny bits of scrap. You could just do the really small little pouch bags as well. So that is this week's video. I was trying not to talk as much because I know how annoying it is listening to someone congested. As always, let me know if you give these little bags a try. You can tag me on Instagram. I've also managed to keep my office clean. If you've seen last week's video, I have managed to keep it clean. Thanks so much for watching everyone and I'll catch you all in next week's video. Bye everyone.